Hey guys, I thought today that I would bring you a pretty big um, collective thrift haul from the past few weeks, even like the last probably month or so. Um, there's a couple things that I'm missing, but you don't, you won't know what they are, so you won't miss them. Anyway, so I just thought we would get right into it. Um, I'm gonna start with tops. I can actually, I'm gonna start with shoes. Um, <clears throat> and I did really well, like, finding really quality, like, 100% leather pairs of shoes, um, which is always nice because they're just durable and they last forever. Uh, so the first thing, first are these suede go-go boots. They go up to just about the knee. They zip on the inside of the leg. Um, they have a really comfortable, like, short heel, which I like because I just don't wear heels. Like, it's just not practical for me. Um, they are 100% suede, and I got these off of Poshmark, and I was really excited. I really like that they're suede and, like, a suede style of go-go boot and not, like, a patent leather. Um, just because I think this is a little less costumey and a little easier to wear if you know what I'm saying and I think these would look so cute with like a mini skirt and a graphic tee so yes that's them they have kind of like a squared toe seam up, up the middle um they're really really nice and they're in really good condition the soles looked like they've just never been worn so those were really exciting find and then the next pair uh is another pair of boots now these aren't really my style um but they are like a, just a classic pair of like chunky um, Chelsea boots. Um, they're also 100% leather. I got these at the Goodwill bins, which is where you pay by the pound. And um, they have like paint spots on them, but they're kind of grungy, so I don't really care. And honestly, I'm sure like I could probably like scrape them, the little bits, the little stains off or whatever. Um, these uh, will probably, though, end up on my Depop because I just will never wear them. Um, so, yeah, you should check my Depop out if you are interested. They're very, like, 90s grunge-y style, which I think is super in right now. Um, and they're just, like, a classic pair of boots. Like, these would honestly, if this is, like, whoa. If this is your thing, like, these will go with everything. Um, the next pair of shoes I got, again, are 100% leather. Um, they're real suede, and I think the sole is even real leather, um, and they're just these, like, loafers, black loafers, and I got these at the bins, too, the same day I got those other boots. Um, they're in pretty good condition. I mean, they're obviously, like, worn, um, but the hardware is, like, real metal, and they seem... Like, they're, like, sewn together and just put together really well. Um, so I'm sure they'll last me a lot longer than, like, the Target slide loafers that they're selling now. Just, like, a good staple piece. And they're super trendy right now. So I was really happy when I found these. And the last pair of shoes is just, like, a staple again. Um, they're just black ballet fat flats, not fats. Um, which I know is like they're basically the same shoe, but these are just a little different and they like remind me of like Parisian style They're leather as well like this black The actual like shoe part is leather the sole is like a rubber um, And they're in really good condition. They don't look too worn and they were a dollar fifty at my local thrift store So those are a good find um, So I'm gonna go also look at my cats Snuggles. Now I'm going to do tops really quickly. Um, I think this is like the majority of what I have here is, is tops, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, now that we're going into fall here in the Pacific Northwest, I've been looking for a lot of sweaters and stuff like that. Um, just because that's basically what you live in here in the fall is like sweaters and leggings and boots um so yeah so first I just got this short sleeved like 
knit cardigan which reminds me of like friends kind of style like 90s style and it has a um, mother of pearl just small mother of pearl buttons it's by the brand designer original studio and it's a cotton Raimi blend um and it's kind of like a sturdier knit and like it's like sturdy but also stretchy um and it's not super soft but it, it's really comfortable and I think this looks really good with like medium wash like true blue mom jeans um I think that would be really cute and like gold hoops and yeah just like a basic white sleeveless or short sleeve sweater and then I've been shopping oh just poked my eyeball I stopped looking for t-shirts for a long time at the thrift store because I got bored of just seeing the same things over and over again and not really finding anything that was cool or whatever but I did recently find a couple of shirts one of them's not in here because I can't find it I think it's in the wash um that I like or it has a little bit of like hair on it but it's um this t-shirt that says femme fatale on it um and then it says cinemax femme fatale on the back um and this is a little extra for me i don't know i like i really like it but also that's not my personality at all so i will probably sell this someday um when i'm done being attached to it um this next sweater i got at the bins and it is like a vintage kind of like bohemian wavy knit and it has bell sleeves and it's like a really nice mustardy I don't know like burnt mustard or honey mustard color I guess and it's really long and it's open and I think it would look good with like a 70s inspired outfit so like like flared jeans and a blouse and maybe like a newsboy cap or something like that I think that would be really cute um and then I have this silk so this is a silk cotton blend brown turtleneck and I saw this picture on Instagram or on Pinterest of this girl with a like ribbed turtleneck like this and um a white denim skirt at a table and I thought that outfit was so cute so I actually uh, ordered a white denim skirt off of Poshmark um, but I don't have it yet but I think once I get that I think that'll be such a cute like look but also this would look good with like jeans even like a white pair of mom jeans excuse me or um, even like a plaid skirt I don't know it's just a basic turtleneck so it would look good with lots of things and I have this um, mohair it's like a what is this yeah so it's angora and lambs wool I think it's like a vintage designer cream sweater like can you see the texture on that and uh, again, I saw this girl on Pinterest wearing a sweater like this, like this texture um, with high-waisted jeans. And I just thought it was so like classy, but also like kind of sexy and like cozy at the same time. Like really pretty, but comfortable. And then this is my last sweatery piece. And this was a dollar at my local thrift store and it is just an acrylic sag harbor which i love like they sell so many just basics and it is like an army olivey green it's more green in person short sleeve like t-shirt sweater and i think these look really cool with vintage pants or high-waisted jeans or skirts like this could just go with so many pieces so for a dollar like I couldn't pass it up and then I got this Vans like long line work shirt which reminded me of the Madewell boyfriend like 
work shirts like the tomboy work shirts that they sell and it's in that like same kind of army green color although I think the one on that Madewell makes is a little more olivey than this like this is more like a sagey green I don't know lighter like less saturated green I guess also is that a stain I guess it has a little stain on it but whatever I didn't even notice that and this was 250 and it has like really thick material like the material is really sturdy and nice and the buttons are all there and it's like basically brand new minus whatever that stain is but it's just got like these two pockets at the front and for 250 again it's just like one of those pieces you could throw over a striped t-shirt and jeans or even like a little dress it would look cute over so it's nice it's a basic it'll go with lots and then this is my last top I guess and it is this it's a 100% silk it's like a creamy blouse uh, it is let's see it was a dollar and 15 cents it's by Dana Buckman uh, Buchman? I don't know but it like I don't know if you can see but it has these ties that wrap around so it like crosses in the front and I think this again is just like a basic staple piece um so then I have this piece it's like a summer piece and I found this it's something I was looking for during the summertime when it was warm um and I just didn't find it but then I was shopping a couple weeks ago and like I got this a while ago and I saw this and I just couldn't pass it up because I looked for it all summer and I think it would be really cute next summer and like the color is nice the material or the like pattern is really cute it's like polka dots and purple and red and white flowers and it has like this little like corset in the back which is adorable and it's a romper so it's like a shorts pair of shorts romper and this is probably like from the 90s and when you're wearing it it looks kind of like a like a mini dress but then it's pants so you don't have to worry about like flashing anybody and I think this would be really cute with like a straw hat or a straw bag and espadrilles in the fall like at the farmers market um I just think that's just really nice to have for summer like little things you can throw on and then put on a pair of shoes and run out the door so I had to get it because uh, I'll probably wear it all summer next summer um, the first like bottoms piece I have is this black and white plaid skirt it is by Ann Taylor and it is a wool and polyester blend and it is just a basic plaid mini skirt um uh, it'll look good with blouses and sweaters and tights and boots blah 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 just like a basic plaid and the colors are really neutral so they can go with lots of things <clears throat> and then i have basically the same skirt it's a little longer this is also this is a wool and rayon blend um but it's cream and like a tan and uh it's i think it's a little longer but otherwise basically the same skirt um just in a different colorway i think it would be cool to wear like a little embroidered t-shirt that has like some small wording on it i think i might even make my own like embroider my own t-shirt like just get a t-shirt at the thrift store and embroider it um and pair that with a plaid skirt and like a cream be uh beret and like that would be such a cute look so I have plans for that. Anyway, continuing on. This next piece or pieces is like a pajama set. And it's a vic like vintage Victoria's Secret pajama set. But they're 100% silk. And they're like high-waisted, creamy pajama trousers. Like they're like high-waisted. And I've, I've never seen like a pajama set with high-waisted pants that have like don't have a drawstring like they just have this fitted like finished front with seams I think that's so classy and like 
I don't know, there's just something about it that I like because I feel like it ups the like style of it a little bit. And then the back is elastic, so they like still stretch, but the front looks really nice. And then on the bottom they have little lace bits. And those are 100% silk, and then they had this matching top. And let me just button it. I thought it was so like... I don't know, like a little bit sexy, I guess. But the like top of it is sheer and then just the bottom half is like this silk, like it's just sheer lace. And like I would never wear this by itself, but I thought it would be cute to wear this underneath that, like even over like a black or white shirt or something similar to this, maybe not this piece exactly. Um, but also like this underneath that little wool uh, like and rabbit hair sweater like just the lace peeking out from that so cute and like so like soft and feminine but still cozy I guess so yeah that was a good find and now we're gonna move on to books um I don't usually buy books at the thrift store I don't usually buy books very often in general just because it's hard to look through them when they're messy and stuff at the thrift store and they're not really like you have, you can't really find anything specific you're just gonna have to look and see if there's anything you're interested in but my sister and I did look when we went to the bins um, the last time and their books are so cheap there their um, soft cover are only 50 cents and all the ones I picked out were all soft covers so I spent like maybe 275 on five books so that's amazing um, and I'm a doula, which means I am like a birth coach. Um, but anyway, I did find some birth books. This is Ina May's Guide to Childbirth. Ina May Gaskin is like this amazing midwife in the U.S. Really led the movement of midwifery in the 70s and 80s and even now in 2017. She's amazing. She has an amazing TED Talk on YouTube. Look it up. Just look up Ina May Gaskin TED Talk. Um... She is adorable and also so cool. Uh, so I already have this, but this is just a second copy. And I thought it would be, it would make a good gift for a doula client or um, even just a family member in the future. Um, so yeah, got that. Then I got The Birth Partner. I've had this book. I borrowed it from the midwife I used to work for, but she moved. So I had to give it back to her. And now I have a copy of my own. And I think that will be good for me as a doula, but also for Gavin my husband in the future when we have our own kids. Third book I got is The Natural Pregnancy Book. I haven't read this book before but I saw it and I was interested because I'm all about natural pregnancy and um, just for myself I don't necessarily think that's everyone's option or choice and that's fine but for myself and possibly for my clients um, and it says herbs, nutrition, and other holistic choices which uh, I think it's cool. So I'm going to read this book, see what I think. It'll probably have some good stuff in it. So yeah. And then this is a, just a little coffee table book. It's called The World Book of Houseplants. I thought the cover of this was so pretty. And it's just like full of information on houseplants. And then the last book I got is Our Food naturally which is like a cookbook um but also i think it it has like different tips and stuff in it too and i am really interested in like natural and holistic food and nutrition um more and more as i get older and so i thought this book was really beautiful the pictures in it are like so pretty And everything looks super good. My last little thrift haul piece is just this little mug. And I love earthenware mugs like st like when they look like homemade. I think that's just so fun and cute. And we have like a really pretty big collection going and we don't need any more. But we also broke a couple recently. So I picked this one up to like replace those ones. And we call them Karen mugs because 
um, we used to go to this like community dinner and the lady that always hosted had fun mugs like this and so they just turned into Karen mugs and so I got a new Karen mug and I think it was like it was either 60 cents or 30 cents I'm not really sure but either way that's super cheap for a mug if you're especially if you're spending like I don't even know I don't know how much regular mugs are anymore because I never buy them but yeah I thought the the colors were really pretty too, like this little mint color. I don't know, very nice. So that is all for this thrift haul. If you would like to see more, um, like my video, I guess. You don't have to. Um, subscribe maybe. I will be posting more. I really think this will be fun. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. And yeah.